All right, Miss Jenny, we're going to talk about lasagna gardening, and I like lasagna. It's one oh, of my favorites. I do too, <laughs> especially in this mode that uh -huh, we're going to uh -huh. play with today. Right, the plants will love it, right? They do. Yes, they really yes, do. You yes. know, the traditional method for us to plant a garden or a, a, a flower pot bed is to um, remove all the sod mm -hmm. and the weeds and then till it up mm -hmm. and then dig it up because you need a good depth for the, the nutrients and things to get to the plants. Okay. And that's a lot of work. Yes. So a lot of people say, well, I can't garden because I don't, I, I'm not physically able to do that. Right. I don't own a tiller. I don't want to rent one. And, and I just can't do all that mm -hmm. kind of work. Or maybe they feel like they're just too old to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's but you know, true. we don't true. ever get too old to play in the dirt. No. So no. this is a method by which you can garden and not have to do all that work. Oh, really? All right. right. Okay. Yeah. So it, right. it's, it's really a, um, a simple way to create a good garden bed. Okay. And so what we're going to do first is determine where we're going to put this. Okay. And the reason we want to do that is if we plant vegetables or shrubs or perennials, they're going to need from six to eight hours of sun. Mm -hmm. So we need to be sure we put it in the right place when we start. Okay. And we probably would do a soil test so that we're sure oh, that okay. we've got the nutrients we That's need. Right. And if we don't, we can amend them throughout this process. Right. Correct. Um, then we gather up all our materials. We want to have uh, browns and greens. Mm -hmm. Browns for carbon, greens for nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna build this and it's gonna become sort of like one big compost pile that we can just leave alone and let it work. Okay. So that's the beauty of this is, yeah. is the least amount of work. Yeah, leave it alone, let yeah. it work. Okay. And um, let's just start the layers, how about let's that? Let's start it, let's start it. First thing we want to do is to find our location and then we're going to use either cardboard or some thick layers of newspaper, okay? okay? What we're doing is we're going to put that down on the ground mm -hmm. and we are going to um, cover all of the soil and the grass and all the weeds with this cardboard and or the newspaper. And we're gonna wet that down so yes. that it stays put. That will prevent our weeds and our grass from continuing to grow. Wow, even Bermuda won't grow through that stuff? No, sir. It wow. will kill it dead. Okay. Yes. That's what we need yes, to do. Yes, that's what you need. Right. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to add <coughs> some peat moss. Okay. We're going to have a layer of peat moss. This now, is peat when, moss is pretty dry. It, it is yeah. pretty dry. Okay. And we will probably do a little bit of watering in between. We don't want to wet it down really a lot. Okay. But we do want to be sure that we... Um, have enough coverage because we're aiming for a two to one ratio okay. of browns yeah, and greens. Yeah, I'm about that ratio now. Okay. okay. Don't breathe while I'm spreading this around. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is dry. Now we've got us a layer of peat. Now we're going to follow that with some green, some uh, good old straw. Straw. Now we yeah. want to use straw and not hay. It takes hay a long time to decompose. Okay. Straw decomposes very quickly. Right. And um, in the process of hay, you, you get all kinds of seeds that are going to sprout and grow yes. in your pile that you really don't want. So we're going to do that. We look at our layer and be sure it's good and thick. So far, so good. Yeah. Now, uh, alleged, when we're doing this on on the ground when we're actually doing it, not in a demonstration, you would probably want to have about four to eight inches of this straw. Ah, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, it yeah. is. All right, now then we're gonna add another layer of peat. As More you can peat. see, this is like a cake. We're just layering it along okay. as we go. And you, and still, recycle, and you still water that too, right? Just, just a little bit. Just a little. Recycle coffee cans make see, great scoops. Great. Yeah. That works good. All right. Yeah, we got some more of that. Okay, now I've covered up my stuff here. <laughs> got everything everywhere. Let's um, add at this point some shredded newspaper. Shredded newspaper. Yeah. 
we don't have much of this anymore with the no. newspapers not to being our main focus of media anymore but you can get this from your shredder where you shred your office supplies and things um, so it's it's not hard to come by now right. what about the ink do we need to be concerned about ink no newspaper or anything like that no most of the ink nowadays is very um uh what do you call it um edible okay it's soy based yeah. so it it uh, will compost very easily okay. and will not give us any harmful uh, additives in our uh, our deal. Okay. okay so now, how thick do we need to get the paper layer? We would. Our paper layer is going to be um, probably another four six inches. Okay. Now we're not doing that in this particular right. demo because we're run out of room. Right. Right. Because ultimately you want eighteen to twenty four inches of this. Because okay. as it sits during the winter gonna, and composts, right. it's going to shrink. Yeah. So now we're going to add some barnyard manure. Oh. This is the, the fun part. <laughs> oh, barnyard. I manure. always use barnyard too. Uh -huh. uh, pet no. manure is not no. not a good thing to use because there are many kinds of bacteria and things that you can get from that. But barnyard man manure is really good and it can even be green when you put it in oh, in your lasagna yeah. bed if you're doing it in the winter because it has time to uh, cure okay. and compost. If you put green in it? too early, you're going to end up with fried plants. Yeah, it's going to cook it. Yeah. All right. All right. One other point. You need to use dark fingernail polish. Oh, dark fingernail polish. That way your dirty fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't usually wear gloves okay. and that's, dark that's bad. Polish. But dark fingernail Ladies polish smoker. covers up a lot. Right. So here you go. Okay. Right. And now we're going to put a layer of compost on top okay. of that. All right. So top it off with the compost. Now then, if we were doing this in the spring, we would compost it, and then we would add a very good layer, a good thick layer of good garden soil okay. so that we could go ahead and plant. But since this is the fall and this is the best time to do this, we might dust it a little bit with some um, bone meal for um, uh, to add uh, phosphorus and potassium, okay. some bone meal and some, uh, even wood ashes hmm. would be good to add. Okay. And that just good lets, ash. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now once you get to your height you're aiming for, which is 18 to 24 inches, then you're done. Then you're done. And we haven't dug the first hole. That's not yeah. bad, huh? That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so That's you just continue layering just like we did till you so get to the height you want. 18, 18 to 24 20 inches. inches and then let it sit throughout the winter okay. with a good covering of compost. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, yeah, do you have to cover it or can you just leave it? Or? You don't have to cover it as mm -hmm. long as you've got a real good uh, layer of compost on top okay. to keep the wind from blowing it and keep the water from washing it away. So you want some good organic compost though? Organic right, Something compost. that can be broken down? Yes, okay. always. Always. Use organic if at all possible, all possible. in all of this. Okay. That's the best way to go. All right, Miss Jenny, we appreciate that. Yeah, wasn't that fun? Yeah, that was pretty fun. And we even just got dirty. I didn't dirty. really get that dirty. Yeah. <laughs> My nails look okay, too, huh? Yeah, well, so yours look fine. Right. Mine are a little bit nasty. Well, thank you much. You're welcome. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.